This tutorial will guide you through the PMRS Resolution Submission and Agreement Execution Process, or LAAE. Actors in this process are the Local Public Agency Project Manager, or LPA PM, the Presiding Officer, and the Clerk. Local public agencies will need to submit a resolution from their governing body to the Division of Local Aid within 30 days of submitting a grant application in New Jersey's System for Administering Grants Electronically, or SAGE. SAGE is accessible from the NJDOT Local Aid Resource Center website. To begin the process, the LPA PM will navigate to njdotlocalaidrc.com slash pmrs and select PMRS sign-in. Enter your username and password and click log in. Under workflow in your court, the PM will see the LAAE process. The LPA PM is the first person to take action in this process. This screen shows what the project manager will see when they first sign in to PMRS. The resolution will be in the local public agency project manager's court under workflow in your court. Identify the project that you would like to submit the resolution for and click on the acronym LAAE-1 in the name column. On this screen, the PM will need to do a couple things. First, enter the resolution number. If your municipality is using the resolution that is provided as a template, the resolution number would be found here at the top. Take that number and enter it where it says resolution number. Second, if the municipality has any special language that needs to be included in the electronic resolution, paste the text into this box. If you do not wish to take action at this point, click the Save button at the top right. This will save any information you've entered, allowing you to come back to finalize the action later. Once everything looks correct, the project manager selects Submitted from the Action dropdown and clicks Take Action. In this case, the only action available to the PM is submitted. Once the project manager takes the action, an email is sent to the person who must take the next action in the process. In this case, the next step is for the presiding officer, who is either the mayor or the county executive. They will receive an email that looks like this. You can see from the subject line that an action is required. When the presiding officer, or PO, receives the email notification that the LAAE process is awaiting action, he or she will begin by logging in to PMRS by navigating to njdotlocalaidrc.com PMRS and selecting PMRS sign-in. Enter your username and password and click Login. Under Workflow in your court, identify the project that needs to be reviewed and click on the acronym LAAE-1. The first thing the mayor or county executive needs to do is review the text and check that it is accurate. Things to verify include, is the name of the town correct? Is the project name correct? What about the name of the presiding officer? The name on the resolution should match the person who logged into PMRS. My name is John Buckley, which is not in this resolution. If the name is not correct, the PO should correct it before proceeding. To update the name in the resolution, scroll to the bottom 
expand the Actions drop-down and select Update Name. Then click Take Action to update the name in the resolution. Each time the button Take Action is clicked, you will be brought back to the PMRS home screen. If the project does not appear in your court after updating the PO's name, simply click the Home icon to refresh the list, and it should reappear. Now, when the LAAE-1 process is opened, the new name appears in the resolution. Here, the mayor can add the resolution adoption date and their title if they want, but these are not required at this step. The clerk can enter these on the next step. After making sure everything else is correct, select Signed from the drop-down menu and click Take Action to digitally sign the resolution. Now the resolution advances to the clerk. The clerk is notified by email. Navigate to njdotlocalaidrc.com slash PMRS and select PMRS sign in. Enter your username and password and click login. After the presiding officer signs a resolution, the clerk's task is to do a final review. Under workflow in your court, click on LAAE-1 next to the project resolution. The clerk needs to check that all the fields have been filled out accurately. Is the name of the town correct? Is the name of the project correct? Are the name and title of the presiding officer correct? How about the resolution number? And the adoption date? These fields are all required. Once the information has been added to all the fields, the clerk has two options in the action dropdown, revise or sign. If any of the information needs to be corrected, the clerk can select the action revise, which will reroute the workflow back to the presiding officer for any necessary corrections. If everything looks good, the clerk can move the process forward by selecting signed from the drop-down menu and then clicking Take Action. Once the clerk selects Signed and clicks Take Action, the document will be electronically signed and dated and will advance to the NJDOT Local Aid Assistant Project Manager for review. The NJDOT Local Aid Assistant Project Manager, or APM, will then review the information and send it to the NJDOT Project Manager for review. This completes the steps to submit a resolution to the Division of Local Aid. If you have any questions, please contact the NJDOT Local Aid Resource Center.